Hogs. Feral Hog Ecology Feral hogs are an invasive species introduced to North America in the 1500s by European explorers. They can now be found throughout the southeastern United States and often have negative economic and environmental effects in the areas where they occur. For this reason, hog populations need to be managed throughout their non-native range. When developing management plans for invasive species, it is important to understand the ecology of the animal to ensure that the most effective management strategies are implemented. Habitat. Eurasian wild boar in a snowbank. In their native range, wild boar regularly occupy colder climates with annual snowfall. Photo courtesy of Svetlana Kolodnia. Feral hogs are very adaptable animals that are able to thrive in a variety of ecosystems. They are considered habitat generalists which means that they can successfully occupy a variety of habitats with different temperatures, rainfall amounts, elevations, and vegetation types. Generally speaking, the factors that limit the range of feral hogs are access to food and access to water. Habitat selection can vary from one season to the next based on the availability of those resources. This flexibility has enabled feral hogs to expand their range as their populations grow. Diet. Feral hogs are opportunistic omnivores. The majority of their diet is made up of plant matter and while the specific composition changes based on season and location, the plants consumed often include acorns and underground roots, tubers, and bulbs. Feral hogs use their snout to dig into the ground or root through an area overturning loose soil to access subterranean resources. Rooting is a highly effective foraging strategy, but can greatly impact the habitats it occurs in. As omnivores, feral hogs also consume animal matter. Even though it makes up a much smaller portion of their overall diet, animal matter consumed by hogs can include birds, mammals, reptiles, carrion, and often earthworms. Feral hogs tend to concentrate on abundant natural food sources such as a crop of acorns, or on similarly abundant non-natural food sources such as agricultural crops. Knowing when and where abundant food sources occur can help with strategizing how management techniques will be implemented. Water. Access to water can be a limiting factor for feral hogs because they are very poor thermal regulators. Feral hogs do not possess sweat glands which means they must rely on other strategies to regulate their temperature and stay cool. In warmer conditions feral hogs can use shaded areas, feed nocturnally, or wallow in mud to maintain appropriate temperatures. Wallowing can occur in natural bodies of water which can have negative environmental impacts, or in man-made bodies of water which can cause health-related risks to humans and domestic animals due to the diseases associated with feral hogs. Reproduction and social behaviors. The feral hogs seen today are descendants of domestic swine who were intentionally bred to reproduce quickly, often, and in large quantities. Male feral hogs can begin reproducing at 12 to 18 months old. Males are typically solitary individuals who can be territorial and will fight for the opportunity to breed. Female feral hogs can begin reproducing as early as 6 to 12 months old. Gestation only takes 115 days, and each litter contains 4 to 6 piglets on average. Females are more social animals and typically travel in multi-generational groups of related individuals called sounders. These groups can range from two individuals up to 50 individuals and allow the hogs to better protect their offspring from potential predators. The perfect invader. The combination of being habitat generalists, having an omnivorous diet, and being highly reproductive has made feral hogs a very successful invasive species in many places around the world. Due to competition with native animals, their destructive foraging techniques, and use of water sources for wallowing, feral hogs often have a negative impact on the habitats they occupy. Additionally, they cause millions of dollars in damage to agricultural operations and pose serious health-related threats where their range overlaps with domestic animals and humans. Understanding the ecology of this species can help managers to be more successful as they try to reduce the impacts made by feral hogs. Damage caused by feral hogs is not a new phenomenon but it is becoming a more common experience for property owners across the state of Texas and throughout the ever-growing range of these invasive animals. Feral hogs are capable of occupying a variety of habitats, so their impacts are just as diverse as the ecosystems encompassed by their range. Impacts to natural resources. 
A feral hog's inability to thermoregulate means that they are often concentrated near a water source. This puts more sensitive habitats such as riparian corridors and wetlands at a greater risk of being damaged. Rooting and wallowing behaviors can damage and uproot aquatic vegetation, can contribute to increased erosion of banks, increased sedimentation of water bodies, and increased turbidity or murkiness of water. Additionally, feral hogs in a riparian area can distribute fecal matter that introduces E. coli to the water system. They can alter the pH levels of the water, and can reduce dissolved oxygen levels. These effects combined can have serious impacts on the health of a watershed and on the organisms that rely on those habitats. Additionally, feral hog foraging behaviors can also impact vegetation communities. A study of feral hogs in East Texas found that areas hogs were excluded from had a much higher proportion of native seedlings. These differences were attributed to high rates of mast, e.g. acorn, consumption by hogs and the stress that frequent soil disturbance would have on seed germination and sapling trees. This study also found that areas with feral hog damage allowed for greater invasion of non-native plant species such as the Chinese tallow tree. These findings suggest that over time, feral hogs can contribute significant alterations of the ecosystems they inhabit. Impacts to wildlife. Changes to important habitat can have direct impacts to native wildlife. Poor water quality in a riparian system can reduce abundances of freshwater mussels and aquatic insects. These changes can also negatively impact logger wildlife species who rely on those populations as a food source. Changes in vegetation communities can result in a lower production of acorns that native wildlife such as white-tailed deer, wild turkey, squirrel, and black bear rely on as a food source. There are also more direct interactions between feral hogs and native species that are harmful. As opportunistic omnivores, the diet of feral hogs frequently leads to competition with native species. Aspects of their diet overlap with the diets of numerous native animals including white-tailed deer, wild turkey, black bears, waterfowl, and eagles to name a few. While the degree of overlap varies from one species to the next, the number of native wildlife species in direct competition with feral hogs helps convey the extent of their impact. Not surprisingly, feral hogs can negatively impact native wildlife species through predation. As opportunistic omnivores, feral hogs can act as either predators or scavengers when the opportunity arises. While animal matter only makes up a portion of their overall diet, studies have identified remains from freshwater mussels, birds, armadillos, and toads in the stomachs of feral hogs. Additional studies have also documented depredation of white-tailed deer fawns, turkey nests, and quail nests when the opportunity is available. Impacts to agriculture. The impact that feral hogs have on agriculture is somewhat easier to financially quantify than some of the other impact categories, but estimates can still vary widely. A 2020 study analyzing damages to crops across 12 states known to have feral hog populations estimated that feral hog damage resulted in $272 million in losses to crop production in a single year. A study from 2021 in Texas found that impacts to individual producers can cost upwards of $200,000 annually when losses, management efforts, and lost opportunities are all taken into account. The feral hog's foraging behavior can cause several direct impacts to crop production. Rooted areas can cause loss of harvestable crops, seeds and seedlings can be consumed during foraging, and irrigation systems can be damaged by rooting or wallowing. Indirectly, heavily rooted areas with rough terrain can slow down harvest equipment which requires more fuel and can cause additional wear and tear to equipment. There are also financial losses due to selecting a crop less likely to be damaged. Producers may elect to plant a less productive or less profitable crop in an area that has large quantities of hog damage, to avoid the potential damage associated with a more desirable crop such as corn. There can also be impacts to livestock production efforts that overlap with the range of feral hogs. The rooting behavior of feral hogs can damage pastures and sometimes facilitate weed encroachment. The loss of grazing opportunity can directly contribute to production loses or repair costs. Additionally, feral hogs can cause conflicts for supplemental feeding efforts by consuming the feed intended for livestock. Feral hogs can also impact the health of livestock populations through the potential transmission of diseases. 
While the impact of hogborn diseases can be hard to quantify, the costs of additional vaccines is can add up quickly for producers. Finally, feral hogs can impact livestock populations through outright predation and have been documented predating young goats, sheep, and in some cases, young calves. Impacts to humans. Feral hogs can also have more human-focused impacts in urban and suburban environments. In these settings, rooting and wallowing behaviors can cause costly damage to lawns and sport fields, as well as the irrigation systems that care for them. In neighborhoods, hogs have been known to specifically target gardens and flower beds and can damage outdoor furniture and fencing. Feral hogs also present concerns to human health and safety. The E. coli introduced to natural waterways through feral hog fecal matter can also be introduced into artificial water system found in close proximity to humans. They can also carry a myriad